Horses are on the track for the fifth race. Again, you are encouraged to place your wagers early. Lines are very long at the windows. Here are the starters for race five. Number one is Empty Pockets, owned by Paul Pearson and Jeffrey Eckberg of Rockford, trained by Mark DePorter. Ross Leonard is in the bike. Number two is Mystical Smile, owned by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, owned also by Dean Derbyshire, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. Madge's Dream, number three, is owned by C.D. Huffman of Sigourney, Iowa, by Martha Walker of Washington, Iowa, trained by Michael Cox. Tony Morgan is the driver. Number four, One in a Million Girl, owned by Smith, by Horseman's Financial Agency, by Premier Racing Stable of Indiana and Illinois. Amanda Smith is the trainer. Eric Ledford is the driver. Fox Valley Shake It, number five, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. Brian Penske trains and drives. Number six, that your final answer. Owned by David Aaronholz, Alan Myers, and Brett Ballinger. Trained by Brett Ballinger, Dave McGee is up. Number seven is Soaring Sammy. Owned by John Ray Larson of Denmark, Wisconsin. Trained by Bud Larson, Laverne Hostetler will drive. And number eight, Doc's Confederate. Owned, trained, and driven by Bob Neheiser of Crosby, Texas. Race five, an Isoba race for two-year-old pacing fillies. Win, place, show, and exact a wagering. Only six minutes to post. Here they come. They're off and pacing. There goes Doc's Confederate out for the lead. Bat your final answer in Fox Valley Shake It. Also showing early speed, heading on to the first turn. That, your final answer in between horses, gets the lead by a half length, followed by Fox Valley Shake It toward the inside, and Doc's Confederate is third toward the outside, and now drops over toward the inside rail. A gap of three more to MT Pockets, another three more lengths, back to Mystical Smile, racing by the quarter mile mark. And then Madge's Dream, who is 10 lengths off the lead near the back of the pack, 27 and two, a quick opening quarter. They're heading on to the back stretch. And at the back of the field, the two trailers who stack up at the back, one in a million girl, next to last, and Soaring Sammy is last. Headed toward the half-mile mark, they're being led by that, your final answer, on the lead by two. Fox Valley Shake It goes second by a length and a half to Doc's Confederate, and then M.T. Pockets. A margin of some eight more lengths then, back to Madge's Dream, who is patiently biding time at the back. There goes one in a million girl, the favorite moves up, from the fifth position, a good 10 lengths off the lead. Ahead of her, M.T. Pockets is off the rail. The half in 56 and one. That your final answer leads M.T. Pockets by a length. Fox Valley shake it toward the inside is third. One in a million girl in striking position, fourth on the outside, two lengths off the lead. Followed by Madge's Dream, who's just to the outside of Doc's Confederate. Mystical Smile is far back now on the turn. Her gait is awkward, she's wide. She's 25 lengths from the front. Off the three quarters in 126 and one. That your final answer, empty pockets. One in a million girl is coming on the far outside. One in a million girl storming to the lead. She's getting clear by four, five lengths now. She's much the best. That your final answer is second. Then empty pockets and Fox Valley shake it. One in a million girl lives up to her favorite status. She wins it by eight lengths. That your final answer was second. It's a photo for third, either MT Pockets or Fox Valley Shake It. The mile, one, 53 and four. It fair, today she's in the winner's circle as a winning trainer. Pretty darn good last couple of days. Here's number four, one in a million girl, trained by Amanda Smith, driven by Eric Ledford. Another winner on the card for Cole Muffler. This two-year-old filly is owned by Paula Smith, Horseman's Financial Agency Incorporated, and the premier racing stable of Indiana and Illinois. It's a new lifetime record for the filly, and it's a new stakes record in the Isoba two-year-old filly pace, 153 and 4. Butch Fox making the blanket presentation. The rundown is next.